X-ray glasses, sea monkeys, mood rings. What hidden gems and inspiration can we find in the pages of vintage comic book ads? <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome, mad creators, to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. We also create comics, and one of the things that I am creating for comics are some comic book tools. Uh, you know, brushes and uh, templates and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you've seen the Comic uh, Maker Toolkit or the Comic Maker Starter Kit, you probably know what that's all about. But uh, in order to create these things, I've, I've been doing a little bit of research because I want to I, I want to give the best products I can. And uh, one of the elements that goes into some of these products are fonts, comic book style fonts. So that's something I've been working on. And in order to do that, you know, I want some kind of vintage stuff because even though these are digital files, I want them to look I want them to look like the real thing, like you would see in old comics. And and so I want to get inspired by that. And one of the things I really like are those old vintage, you know, Bronze Age comic book ads. I I've got a whole bunch of them that I want to flip through because I've got this book here, the superhero book. It's basically a book of toys, games, and all the cool stuff you used to get by mailing away in the in the back or in the in within the pages of old Bronze Age comics, or even probably before then. I, I just remember the Bronze Age stuff. So this is going to be sort of a part uh, trip through memory lane for me because these books came out when I was a kid, and there's a lot of stuff that I had, and uh, part just kind of research and, and trying to figure out some. Some, see if I can get some ideas or some inspiration for some cool style fonts that I can build, uh, that I can create and put out to you guys. So without any further ado, let's dive into the first issue here. All right, so check this out. Um, I am a, I'm a big fan of you know old uh, kind of vintage comics, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. Um, I but one thing that I'm doing right now is I've been heavy into doing lettering and sound effects and things like that because I'm building you know these products for uh, comic creators that they can use. Um, but I, I want them to look vintage. I don't want them to look like they're computerized. Um, or at least, you know, something that you could convert easily. So, uh, you know, to, to make look vintage. So that's some of the stuff I'm working on, but let me show you just to give you an idea. So this is actually an ad that I made. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but I wanted, you know, I've got all these mad science supplies and I wanted to tie it into comics. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to do like a vintage, you know, comic book style ad using all of my actual products and everything. So I wrote, you know, some awesome, you know, kind of cool, fun descriptions of them and everything and made it like a real ad. Um, but what inspired me are all those old comic book ads, you know, where you send away from the X, for the x-ray glasses or, you know, uh, the bodybuilding kits and all that cool stuff. So I, I recently found out about these things. Now I, I, you know, I grew up in this time, but I had never, I had never seen these books, these superhero catalogs, which is just these ads. Um, now I found out about, about this through the uh, Cartoonist Kayfabe channel. If you're not familiar with that, you definitely want to check that out. I'll try to remember to leave a link if you're not already familiar. Um, but they always flip through, you know, they get all these old like 50 cent comics or whatever, they flip through them. Unfortunately, I'd pay a little more than 50 cents for these. Um, if I would have went hunting, I could have probably found some, but I just kind of, I wanted them like right away as soon as I saw them. So, so I ordered them online. I, I think I got issues one, two, uh, four and five. I don't know how, how much they go into, but I'm missing, I'm missing an issue three, it looks like. Um, but these are all like all those old ads that you have. And I, I bought these because this to serve as inspiration for some of the comic book fonts that I'm going to be using. I've been designing, you know, fonts. I, I recently put out, um, I put out a, a font, uh, kind of combo call what did I um, <laughs> um, Jeepers Creepers so that was around Halloween and it was one kind of funky kind of Halloween sort of font and another one that was kind of spooky and everything um, and it contains four different fonts it's got like the outline version and the solid version I'm working on another one now called freezer burn which is sort of the classic like fire uh, you know style font and then a frozen font but I want to keep putting these things out there I want to keep designing these fonts so I figured you know the best thing to do 
to get inspiration was to dig into some of these old comic book ads where there's a lot of comic book lettering. And I thought it'd be fun to show some of this off. Um, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show some of these off, but I think I'll do a longer version for my patrons on my, my Patreon. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea, um, let's let's kind of dive into some of these and we'll we'll take a look and we'll see kind of what treasures we can find. So here we go. So it's the superhero catalogs and even the, the kind of the cover. I'm not, you know, this is something that I don't know you would find a font like that. Um, but, uh, you know, but that's, that's the kind of thing that I could look at, you know, see how it's got. I'm going to get, you know, I might get super geeky here, but look at the width of like the E, how, how fat it is here at the bottom and right in here and everything. Something like that, that, you know, I think I could do sort of a modern type version of something like that. That might be fun. But anyway, let's look. But stuff like this, look, Galactus, Galactic Goodies. And all this stuff is hand done. This is before we actually, most, you know, before there really were, you know, fonts, you know, computerized fonts and everything. But look at all that. That's all, you know, hand lettered. Um, and just some of the cool stuff. I mean, I grew up, you know, 70s and 80s. So the Mego stuff, I didn't even real. I had the Mego figures. I didn't even know there was an invisible uh, plane. Um, I didn't. I don't remember any of this. I had the Batmobile. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of this, the Fortress of Solitude. I didn't even. I didn't even know this Hall of Justice. I mean, maybe some of this stuff didn't even come out because that's the thing. They didn't show, it wasn't photographs, it's just drawings. So theoretically, maybe some of this stuff didn't even come out or maybe I'm just oblivious to the fact that it did come out. Um, but, you know, just, I mean, this is just kind of a, a trip through time for me. That I remember the old Happy Days of me goes. I forgot about those. Um, but yeah, look at this, man. Look at all these. Uh, and just the color scheme. You could tell, again, I kind of tried to mimic that sort of color scheme. It's not quite as faded. I want it to be legible and everything too, but um, but just get that sort of idea. Um, but yeah, all oh, these guys. So these are all the old classic superhero Migos. And the cool thing about these is they were, um, not only were they, did they have the, the the DC characters, but they also had the Marvel, and they were the same size. They they fit, you know. You could play both of them together. Um, and I don't know that they've had too many uh, things since that where they've had sort of that same scale together in the same line that, that uh, you can kind of play with each characters together. Um, I did have the Spider-Man mobile. I remember that I had the Batmobile, even though Spider-Man Spider Car he never really drove that. So so maybe some of the stuff did exist. But look at this. Oh man, the utility belt. You gotta be kidding me here. Um, so this is kind of fun. It's you know some of this, some of these fonts um, are, are really sort of inspiring. Some of them you know just kind of you know basics or whatever. But there's just little things that you could look look at when you're looking through all this. But look at all this stuff. It's just pretty amazing. Um, Star Trek, of course, I remember all, all all of those guys. I never had any of them. I kind of wanted them. I was actually my my parents liked the name Scotty from Star Trek, so that's kind of where they they got my name from. I had this uh, this phaser though, and it would project uh, little images on the wall. I think that's the one I had. Um, but yeah, I don't remember this thing. I remember seeing pictures of the Enterprise, but not whatever that is. Um, Look, <laughs> I think the the Ernie and the Bird are a little off model there. Uh, not only with the uh, style, but the colors. There's a blue Bert and a yellow Cookie Monster. So back then, I mean, they didn't have they. I mean, they just kind of had to indicate the colors. So sometimes they would get it wrong. I don't know if that was on purpose or just like ignorance out of ignorance. But um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, some of this stuff, all the cracker little cracker jerk toys and stuff. Space 1999. Vaguely remember that I may have had the ship like a mar like a matchbook of the ship, um, Marvel Mighty Marvel Warriors. Um, that's pretty cool. Hire a hero. I wonder what that is. Each postage and handling. Let's see. Yeah. So of course stuff like this. Um, you know all the you know the sort of the 3D effects they did back then. Um, see pillows and classes posters I wonder if they I wonder see this is the thing that's funny about these and I do this font I kind of like so you could do with just the circles uh, as you know as far as the knocked out circles and everything I like that um, and of course a lot of the logos that they use but I'm wondering 
they probably had to redraw whatever posters they were using they probably had to redraw these because I don't think they just took the actual posters and pasted them in I think somebody went in and it's my understanding that uh, these were produced by the Cur uh, the Kubert school um, and because uh, uh, Ed Piscor who's on that cartoonist kayfabe channel he's one of the hosts he was taught I guess he went to that school and he was kind of telling Jim Rugg the other host that uh, a lot of some of this you know were students uh, that were doing I guess some of the dirty work while the 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 big the, t the instructors probably were doing some of the cool stuff but um, I thought that was interesting oh this is right up my alley look at this it's very hard to read but blueprints you know I do blueprint drawings all the time I love that stuff so what it man the building of a superhero shop Livingston Mall or Livingston Mall, Livingston, New Jersey. I don't, is that like an actual, I don't know if that's an actual, you know, brick and mortar store of a superhero shop, but that sounds pretty cool. So these must be projectors, I guess, shine on. Yeah, so you just click the thing and it would project that images on the, this, this font I really like. Um, and sometimes I gotta look to make sure that, cause I have a feeling that some of the, the big comic book, uh, font companies like Blambot and uh, Comic Craft may be using, uh, may be looking at some of this stuff for inspiration. So I have to make sure that they haven't already tapped into something like that. But this font right here, I really like. I could totally see, you know, just look at that G. That's pretty awesome. All right, I had to cut out for a minute, but I'm back. Yeah, we got some planes flying over the underground layer here. Um, this, that's, you know, that's a pretty cool font too here. But again, I really like that one. Um, now, I vaguely remember, may, I may have had this clock. And again, sometimes the interpretation of what this thing is supposed to look like and actually the illustration might not be right on. Marvel mood rings. I mean, this is all, this is all about as 70s as you can get. Um, so, but yeah, those are cool. I'm sure I've had some of these shirts. But yeah, again, all this stuff, I mean, just, you know, and I, in addition to like the sound effects fonts and everything, I want to do more, um, just more comic book lettering. This is pretty standard for like body copy and everything, but I definitely want to tap more into that. Superhero stuff, super hats, you got some beanies here. Marvel shirts, Howard the Duck. I remember this, this kind of version of Howard the Duck back before he became a, a bomb and a movie in the 80s and everything. And then, you know, they did sort of introduce him into uh, into uh, the Marvel canon on the uh, the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe and Guardi Guardians. But look again here. So again, I'm just kind of you know, and as much as I'm enjoying all just this trip through memory lane with all this stuff. Um, and this, this font, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's this kind of wavy looking font. Um, that's not, I mean, I did kind of include some of that stuff in some of the fonts that I'm working on. But this one here, I like this A a lot. Look at that A, how it looks like a shark's fin. That's pretty cool, you could always do that. And here's an old classic 70s Stan Lee. Back when he looked young, man. Excelsior, the Marvel Marty, the Mighty Marvel Marching Society. Rest in peace, Stan. All right, we got, uh, let's see. So these are just, I guess, are these collections or, I don't know, maybe calendars and things like that. The Marvel Fun Book, I don't know what that is. Of course you got, yeah, Comic Art, li comic art Library. So, yeah, th maybe these are reproduced because I can't see them redrawing all these logos. So maybe they, they didn't redraw. Maybe they didn't redraw all those posters and everything. These must be, you know, some pasted in somehow. But oh man, here's some here's some classics. Again, stuff like this S. That's that's that could be something. And and it could be just the basic because I don't want to take anything like whole cloth. But you know, little things like that, and you could maybe chip away at the at some of the edges or something, give it sort of a, a cool effect. Um, but you know, we can go back to you know even the, like the the old Hulk, and they probably still do this, but where it's like a brick wall. Um, some of that stuff you may not want to do in a font. You may want that to be something you add later, as the you know as you kind of tweak that font if you you know if we're working with it. But yeah, there's some cool stuff here. 
Look at that. Of course, the, the mail away stuff, man. You have to mail away for everything. Look at this. This whole thing is <laughs> in order forms in the back here. You gotta love, I just gotta love this old newsprint. Look at that. that and, and just the, the colors that washed out, those washed out colors. I really try to capture that on that print that I did. So, and of course, you've got the black and white, you know, sent away, but you know, more fonts here. Look at it. Okay, what do we got? Baby Brigade. <laughs> so, this is almost like a Build a Bear, pre Build a Bear looks like, where they've got like this little superhero outfits. Because I've got a little Spider Man Build a Bear um, in the uh, in the barracks over there. Um, and he's got a he's got a costume kind of like that. That's what it kind of looks like from this. Again, you can't really be exactly sure what you're getting here because it's all based on illustration. But here you go, Super Friends. I'm a big fan of that. So, I've got, you know, I've got three more of these books that I'm going to go through. But I think, you know, I don't want this video to go too long. So, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to make these, these other books, I'm going to make these exclusive to my Patreons. Um, but, so if you want to, if you want to definitely want to check that out, you know, you can find Circworks on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description or at the end of the video. But man, it was fun going through this. And I think, I think the more I go through, the more uh, inspiration I'm going to get. Even, even some of this, I mean, look at this, this is funny. Look at the, the mascot. I mean, isn't that the craziest costume? Look at it, it looks like he's sort of got an old, it looks like he's got a, a like a blanket for a cape, and he's got a gun, and like, I mean, this is nuts. I've never, that's a, that's a funny character design. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I guess he didn't make an appearance till, till issue two. So let's, let's, I'm gonna crack this open for my patrons. Um, and, uh, but yeah, this has been fun. And uh, be on the lookout for more uh, more fonts from from Cirqueworks and everything uh, as I as I get more inspired by all these old comic book ads. All right, so that's going to do it for issue number one of the superhero catalog of games, books, toys, and puzzles. And I, one thing I've noticed is this book changes names uh, as as it goes on. This is the superhero book, and then it kind of changes the superhero catalog, and it's and the other ones don't say catalog. Up, this one just says the superhero book. They're all different, but I think they're all the same thing. They've all got the same crazy mascot guy and everything. Um, but if you want to see me dive into some of these other issues I have, I'm going to be doing that exclusively for my Patreon. So if you want to go check me out on Patreon, there is a link at the end of this video and in the description. And uh, hopefully I'll see you there. But if I don't, I'll see you on the next video here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, that is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at Surfworks on social media. And now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. If you like making comics, then go to Surfworks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.